what's going on gang it's talks with open spaces we're back with a brand new tutorial um, for this one we're gonna be taking a look at plain Jane 2.0's custom cursor feature I'm gonna show you guys basically just uh, where it is in the settings how to upload uh, your own cursor image um, you know the the proper I guess uh, dimensions and um, just other information like that that you should probably know about and just other best practices um, that I think is a bit important when using this feature. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's hop on to my other screen over here and get started. All right, so we're here in the back end of Shopify. We're still using um, our Yeezy concept store demo. Um, so to get here, of course, all you have to do is go to online store right here and make sure you're on themes and then make sure you're on the plain Jane V2.0 and hit customize, okay? Very simple. All right, here's our store. Uh, we already have this custom font loaded, uh, but, let, but this is a cursor view, so let's take a look at the cursor. So to get to the custom cursor, all you have to do is click on the settings, this theme settings cog right here on the left, and then scroll down until you see cursor settings. It's literally right here, so it's not really even scrolling. It's just right here, bro. Um, and then you just simply upload an image. Okay, so where this can get a little bit uh, tricky or finicky is making sure you have the right sized image, okay? Um, and as well as how to design your actual cursor um, image as well. And I'll, I'll go through that in a little bit later in the video. But let's take a look at this. Right now we have this as our image. If we move it around, you can see our custom cursor here in the, the preview. Um, let's open up the live site just so you guys can get a look there too. And you see our cursor, right? Pretty cool. Um, so it, when it turns back into a hand, this is when there's something clickable. So if nothing is clickable, it will be this the, the custom cursor. But if you can click on something, it'll go back to the standard um, pointing finger you know as so so now let's uh let's take a look at this in a different size so you can get a feel for this um this one here is a 20 pixel by 20 pixel cursor but let's take a look at some other ones we have loaded here so it's 20 by 20 we have a 60 by 60 and then a 256 by 256 this is massive all right, so you wanna be aware of how big your cursor is because you don't want something like this. Let me show you guys. I mean, look how massive it is. I mean, unless like, you know, you have a particular branding strategy, you're very, very good at, uh, you know, just branding your site and just your overall brand overall, you know, you might be able to go this method. I'm not saying that you should never do it. Of course, there's always times when rules can be broken, but in most cases, for most people, I would recommend doing this. You know, you want to have a, a decent size. Um, if we go back and we click on the 60 by 60, we get another good look here. It's a bit more doable. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this looks pretty good too. It doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Um. But yeah, now let's take a look at when it, when making your cursor. And I'm gonna point out like a few details just to kind of keep in mind when doing this. We're gonna hop over to Photoshop really quick. So these are some cursors that I, I downloaded from online. Um, I think they're all pretty cool. Um, but there's something that you guys need to take note of is when you're going over certain items on your website like a link or um, a product and it switches to the pointer that's all based off this top left corner so you want to make sure this top left corner has some kind of pointer or indicator to let people know that this is how you select things i'll give you an example of what happens when you don't do that say you want to make the cursor this easy boost okay let's change this to Where's the easy boost image? Let's use this one right here. Like done. And you see what it does to like this, like one, this isn't, isn't usable. So you can't even use this as a cursor. It doesn't really indicate what you're clicking on whatsoever at all, you know? But for this, if you look in the top left corner, if I hover over a link, 
using the top left corner. Let's uh, save this and go to the live website. If I hover over it with the top left corner, then it turns into the pointer um, link or the pointer button or icon, whatever, and allows you to click. But most people that come to your site, they may not know that. They might just be hovering over like this and be like, yo, why, why can't I click anything? Like your site doesn't work. But it's because the pointer activates in the when the top left corner of the box is over an actual link or image or whatever. All right. So that being said, we go back to Photoshop. If you look at all these cursor designs, these ones have an image, but it has a little pointer here to indicate and let people know. So let's upload these um, to the Shopify so you can get a look at how these look as well. All right. As far as sizing goes, um, I would recommend anywhere from 20 pixels to maybe 60, 70 pixels. Um, anything above that, I think it, it gets into murky territory. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's all on you. It's up to you. Do whatever you think is best for your brand. Um, but let's upload all of these cursors. wait for that okay cool all right let's see i think this money one looks pretty dope i mean let's do like the 40 by 40 money see and that looks that looks pretty cool so the cursor is really small here maybe for this one i might even up it a little bit let's go up another size let's try the 50 by 50 should have made more of these in bigger sizes slightly bigger and that looks a little bit better so for this one I might even go up to 70 or 80 just because of this uh, the pointer is really small and the logo is a little small the dollar sign um, but again that's all up to you so refresh here now we have a little you know this money sign as a cursor which I think is pretty damn cool Um, and it's throughout the entire site, not just just this page. So let's go through some of these other cursors. Let's do the star one really fast. Let's do the 50 by 50. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. See, and this pointer is a little bit more precise. The other one was a little bit too small. Um, but this one is a little larger and you can kind of see it a lot more. So I think this is... Uh, a much better example of how you can make a cursor. All right, cool. And finally, let's just do the mouse, the, uh, the hand over here. This is a classic one. I see this in games all the time. upload refresh yeah that looks hard I like that a lot I'm gonna actually use that for something this is cool but um that's about it guys um you know make sure your dimensions and everything um you know I would say between 20 pixels to maybe like 80 pixels or so and just kind of test it you know um figure out what works best for you um again it's best to use photoshop for something like this you can take a look at these examples here. Maybe I'll, I'll upload these, leave a link to these if you guys want to um, play with this. Maybe even the whole PSD file, you guys can, you know, take a look and, uh, you know, try to make your own stuff from this. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, if you guys need any help, uh, customer assistance, um, we do. You can email us, but we highly recommend everyone to join the Discord. Um, it's probably the fastest way to get help. Um, and on top of that, you know, there's a whole community there so you can ask other people, um, for advice if, uh, you know, the team is a bit busy and stuff like that. There's resources there. Um, we do giveaways there. We do all kinds of stuff. Um, so make sure to join the discord uh, the only way to get in. Okay. So you have to purchase plain Jane, like a plain Jane theme. And, um, in the order confirmation email, you get a link to, to get in. 
um, and, uh, you know, join the community and all that good stuff. So that's about it, guys. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Um, would highly appreciate it. You know, follow us on all socials. Our Instagram is at openspaces.io, openspaces.io. And if you want to follow me personally, it's virtual TOX, virtual talks on IG. Um, that's about it, guys. Until next time. Peace.